So folks, there's been an update to the massive tow truck mod here in Beam and G Drive, and we're gonna be trying to haul a school bus onto a trailer, and we're gonna steal an AI car, so stay tuned until the end. Hit that thumbs up button, and let's jump in. All right, so we have a call we need to go out on. Uh, there is a school bus that is broken down. We must put it up on a flatbed trailer, and we're gonna get to check out this updated mod, and folks, uh, this thing has seen some progress here. I'm actually really, really excited uh, for what we're gonna get to do here today, because we get to use a new tool. So yeah, we're gonna pull off the highway here. Uh, another really, really awesome feature, in which I know a lot of people, when I last checked this mod out, were like, wow, how do you remember all the hotkeys? And oh my goodness, I think it just busted the fender. It's fine. Uh, yeah, there you used to have to do a, a bunch of different hotkeys in order to make the whole uh, thing function. Just ignore the whole fact that it just hit that car. But yeah, there's a box in the back that you can open up that gives you the ultimate control over this vehicle now. You no longer have to do... Uh, the hotkeys, which by the way, you could still do those. Uh, they're all listed up here in the top right, but I feel like it's a whole lot more immersive uh, since the last update. So there is the school bus that we need to load up. You got the flatbed trailer on the other side. Uh, I'm trying to think of how close we need to get here with this one. Probably going to be about right here because I'm going to have to spawn in the new tool uh, that's going to be used to help get this thing up. So, yep, there is a uh, working lights on this now. You got like little work lights. Let's go ahead and hop out the side here. Uh, so what I want to go ahead and point out to you guys, it might only be on the other. No, it's on this side too. Check this out. This is a new panel here uh, with this tow truck. And yes, folks, it also below some of these uh, levers, it has what it does. Also, yeah, you control the work lights from here. Uh, you got like little ones for the cabins and stuff. I think that's a rear one there. And then there's a mode button, which I'm not 100% sure what that does. Maybe it's a different uh, like flashing pattern. Uh, oh, it is. Okay, there you go. So if you click the top button and click mode, it is so satisfying being able to interact with this this much. So yeah, we can go ahead and unhook these from the back here. We're going to still need these hooks. Now, last time we played with this, we actually would just manually uh, use these hooks to hook onto a vehicle, which wouldn't be necessarily realistic for something like this, maybe like a crash vehicle. Uh, but we're wanting to try to lift this thing up in one piece and set it on this trailer back here. So we're going to need to spawn in something else. So yeah, if I scroll down here, I've got the adjustable spreader bar, which I think we're going to do the short bar. Uh, I think that'll be enough. So we want two of these. So I'm going to go ahead and clone this real quick. And I'm going to use the editor to put these out. Like, say, we're, we just pulled them out of the back of the truck. Uh, we know where we need to set these things. Uh, that way, they're ready to go. So, yeah, well, the way these things work, which you can spread these out a little bit. So, I think I need these to go out just a tiny bit here. So, you can see I'm holding the hot key down here. So, it's going to make it a little bit wider because the bus is it's pretty wide. So, yeah, then we're going to use the bottom hooks to hook on to the bottom of the bus. Uh, we use this top little circle on the point here. It's going to hook into the uh, green and blue hooks there. So we should be able to lift this whole thing up, uh, and it's going to be absolutely glorious. So let's try to do this from here. I don't know what these buttons on this side do. Are these the out riggers? Maybe they are. Hold on. Let's see if I can make these come out. What am I, what am I spreading here? <laughs> I kind of wish I knew. Oh, okay. So they're going down. Hold on. One of these is going to make it go out here. Here we go. Yeah, we probably want to plant this thing to the ground. So let's go ahead and get both of these out. Oh, man. Being able to click these buttons, I'm telling you, it just adds a whole lot to the mod itself. All right. So those look pretty good. Let's go ahead and go down with them. Uh, get them on the ground. There. Is it? Did it come out the other side? Do I have to spread those out? Oh, I might have to do them from this side. By the way, there's another box over here. Uh, so yeah, there's a potential they got to come out on this side too. Oh, that is definitely a thing. I think when you have it on the like the hot key, you can do them all at once. Uh, but let's make this one go out here, and then we're gonna go down. Let's hook them both down to the ground real quick. And there we go. We should be pretty much secured. I could probably do the rears if I needed them. All right, so we need to make this. Uh, let's see, the boom needs to go up. So that's extend, so we need to go up. There we go. Oh my goodness, I love doing this with the buttons. This is uh, quite a bit more intuitive, I would say. All right, so we need to swing this over. There we go. Uh, we are about over the one here. Let's just keep going out a little bit further. And then we're gonna need to extend it out, so let's click that one. I like how the uh, levers are actually animated too. Uh, a little bit further. Okay, so we want the winch to go out, so we'll click up here. Uh, how close are we? Is it the, I guess it's the green one because it's got the green lever here. So we'll just hold this until it goes out far enough we can hook it in. 
Okay, you can see it going down. So it needs to be within one meter of the circle there and it should hook in. I might need to drag this a little bit this way. Actually, what am I talking about? I can just grab the hook itself and put it over here. Hold on, there it goes. And clunk. So that one is in there. Now we've got to stretch out this other one and hook it to the side. I'll probably swing the boom uh, over a little bit more. So let's go ahead and keep swinging it this way. Are we clear of the bus? I think I just did this backwards. I think we want the blue one. I guess it doesn't matter because I can extend the blue one out. Uh, let's swing it a little bit. We didn't say we were good at our job. I'm just trying to show you guys that this is functional. Uh, there's a chance we are going to damage a little bit of property here. Okay, here comes the blue one. Let's get it down quite a bit. We're going to swing it over. I guess it really doesn't matter. They're going to be crossed up a little bit, but I don't think it's going to cause us any issues. Okay, we're going to walk this over here. Let's try to just get it as close as possible so we can hook it up. Uh, almost there. This is so good. Uh, I like this a lot. All right, almost there. And I can probably hook it from there. So we click the button on here. And it's going to attract it. And boom, look at that. We have the spreaders hooked up. Probably need to spread the other one. So let me go out to here real quick. Let's go spreader bar this one. And then we'll hold shift and star. By the way, I just duplicated myself. There's another one of me standing there. That's the Beamling, by the way. I think it's called the Beamling. It's the multiplayer avatar. All right, let's go ahead and go up. You know, these might actually just swap positions too. They might swing around each other, just correct themselves. Oh, yep, I think that's what's happening here. Might need to manually grab them a little bit and tw untwist them because they're a little twisted up. But yeah, let's get it up and over. That should be good there. We're gonna swing this back this way. Uh, we'll extend out. We'll uh, try to fit these over the top. Uh, they're a little twisted out, but you can see how this works. Like, it's pretty obvious now. Uh, let's go ahead and we want to go down with the boom now. Uh, probably want to go up with the winches and then lower them back. Okay, getting these things down over the bus here. I mean, this is pretty close. Uh, I don't know if we're going to exactly do this right. I probably should be on top of the bus real quick. That way I can try to guide these hooks. I mean, we could probably just hook to the top of the roof, if I'm being honest here. Uh, all right, I want to grab this. Hold on, let's move this hook over here. Uh, and let's see, can we just grab in here? Does it grab? Uh, I think it's actually grabbing. Hold on, hook that one. Uh, I need to double check with this video. You might still need to node uh, these pieces, but yeah, we could also do that. Yeah, mine are getting a little twisted up here. No, this is fine. Uh, we'll just node these things onto this bad boy. Okay, my things are, they're collided a little bit. They kind of go in and out of each other. Uh, it is trying to hook itself up. We're about to see if we can do it anyway. I think it's fairly secure. Uh, no, this is fine. All right, let's see if we can lift this bad boy up. So we're gonna go boom. Let's go up. Uh, Okay, you probably probably should have grabbed a little bit more towards the middle, but as you can see, the tow truck has plenty of strength. Yeah, definitely one of those extenders should have been up towards the front. No, oh, this is this is good. Uh, I, I'm sure they will be satisfied with the work that the Komodo Toll Service is uh, providing here today. So do you think it's safe to, I guess, take the outriggers off and just try to move the trailer over? Probably not, but we're going to try it anyway. Uh, so let's go up. Is this thing going to tip? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay, those are definitely there for a reason. Okay, let's... <laughs> uh, this is fine. All right, go back down, please. Let's go ahead and get stability. Well, now you see how functional those are because, yeah, you need those for that to work. Okay, well, we got to try to do our job from here since we can't mess with the outriggers right now because, <laughs> because of the whole fact that I might die doing that. I might still want to try to flip here. We should probably secure it. All right, so I think it's max extended out. Let's go ahead and swing it this way a little bit. And then we're going to try to lower it. Like I said, we might not be close enough to the... Oh, my goodness. Uh, the trailer, there's a chance it's going to flip. But, I mean, if you were a careful operator, uh, this is definitely doable. Oh, my goodness. Um, I mean... It's technically on the trailer. It might not be the most perfect thing. <laughs> it might not be perfect at all. <laughs> it's fine though. You know, we got this. Uh, we can just release them here. It should fall on the trailer, correct? So if I click uh, clunk, come on. And oh, there we go. I would say that is a job well done there. We could just pack it up and go home, right? <laughs> Let's make maybe make those things go up. But yeah, you get the idea as far as the extenders. Those are really a cool. Uh, to be able to use. They're really, really super easy. Uh, like I said, I got them tangled up a little bit. A normal car, maybe a truck would be a little bit easier. Buzz was a bit longer. I should have hooked them up in a little bit different directions or different nodes. Uh, maybe spread them out a bit. But, I mean, it, it somewhat worked there. All right. 
right, that's a uh, job well done. What do you say we go maybe find somebody to tow? So there's been uh, some updates to the rear of this thing too. Uh -huh, let's just pull it this way. Also, did you guys notice that it was red? Uh, the last time you only had black. So there's a black one, a white one, and a red one. I think you could also now customize the colors. Uh, there still isn't an interior, and I'm hoping when the full release happens, uh, that's a thing. Also, there should be some parked cars around here somewhere. Uh, I want to show you guys a little bit more about the rear section. There's been a couple added triggers, and oh my goodness, do I have to hit more pedestrians or more passenger vehicles? Stay out my way. I ain't got time for this. Okay, so I haven't actually found a parked vehicle, but I mean, we've got this vehicle. They're parked over the line there, so I think that deserves a bit of a tow. So, hon, huh, do they back up and get out the way? I don't think they do. All right, so we're just going to casually pick them up. I would like to see this same system in a smaller truck, uh, like a, a D-Series. I think that would be kind of cool, too. All right, we're going to turn on our work lights. Hello. Hey, don't you honk at me. Uh, you're getting picked up, sir. Uh, so this one doesn't have its own controls on a board like this. Uh, you still have to manually take this down, but there are some triggers now on this to close it around the wheels. So it makes it a little bit easier, but we're still going to need to lower this with uh, the hotkeys. Okay, here comes the underlift. By the way, the vehicle is switched. <laughs> I guess the new AI vehicle just spawned in. I should probably do this with a vehicle that I've spawned in. Uh, but this is fine. So we're going to put this almost all the way to the ground here. Uh, eh, a little bit further. It looks like we're just going to puncture the bumper there. All right, so that's as far as that'll go. I think we can lower the whole vehicle. Uh, increase, decrease uh, height. So let's go control G. There we go. So we'll let that come down. All right, so let's go ahead and back it up. Uh, I think we're going to punch. Yep. <laughs> there we go. All right. Yep. We might have just punched through the bumper, but we're in a heck of a position to be able to tow this thing now. Uh, all right. So we want to use the triggers here. So let's see. Uh, is it this one or is it this one? Oh, I think it's this one. Oh, oh, okay. There it goes. So it's going to unfold. All right. So we've wrapped... <laughs> We've wrapped around the wheels. A little bit messy. I can back up a little bit further. We'll lift it up. We'll be, uh, we'll be good to go. As long as they don't disappear on us here. The chance that's going to happen. So let's go control... Uh, I think it's two here now. Or it might be eight. Okay, it's control eight. I mean, I would say that's somewhat on there. Can I pull it now? Hold on, let's try dragging it. Oh, yeah, we got it. We just stole one of the AI cars. Uh, yeah, we're going to need to hop on the highway. Uh, poor person's just in there probably terrified. Oh, uh, what is the policy? Uh, any of my viewers, anybody familiar with like tow trucks and stuff? Uh, if you're like repoing and they jump in the vehicle, are you allowed to still pull it away or, or do you have to get rid of the person in there? I mean, I can only imagine as far as like when I think of stressful jobs, if you were like a person that does repos, I feel like that's got to be like up there pretty high because yeah, people are kind of crazy. By the way, they've got their rears locked up. They're just trying. They're like, don't. You can't take my vehicle. Uh, hold on. Let's see if we can get some speed here. Yeah, I don't think they're coming off. Uh, those things work really well. I mean, probably for that particular vehicle, you might want to have grabbed it from the other end. I had a really, really low front bumper. Even with lowering the vehicle itself, uh, it still wasn't enough to clear under it. Uh, definitely did a little bit of damage. But hey, you aren't making your payment, so we're just taking your vehicle right now. Hold on. We might be able to slide it out. I uh, might get a little bit of additional damage here. Oh! <laughs> Oh, oh, how is it still on? Did it lock itself down? Oh my goodness. This thing's out of control. Oh, watch out. Oh my. Okay. No. Nope. How it's still doing what it's doing is a miracle. Also, we just broke the front end completely. Uh, we still have the customer's vehicle attached. So on. We still have steering. Just not in the front. It's the uh, the second set of wheels there. Uh, they still move back and forth. This is insane looking. I love this mod. This is so cool. All right, where's the impound lot? Does this count as an impound? Oh, we finally lost the vehicle. My goodness. Uh, we did a lot of damage to it. Oh, at least you can get a look at the uh, under the hood here and all the engine detail that's going on there. Um, yeah, we'll just park it right into here. <laughs> Pretty sure a fuel tank just flew off. Oh, this is fine. So like I said, I'll have fun physics linked down in the description if you guys want to try out this updated version of this truck. And we'll see you guys next time.